guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. I hope you guys are doing well. I am going to recap last week's makeup, do a little haul, and then jump into shopping my collection. So if that sounds like something you like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, guys. Yes, I said haul, because let me back the train up just a little bit so I am on a no buy quarterly no buy but with the exception of we can use gift cards okay so we use some gift cards we'll go ahead and just start with that first so Ulta had I think like five times points um because it was like my Ulta anniversary and then they had like free gifts that were makeup so I'm like, if this is not a sign that I need to be buying makeup right now, I don't know what is. And the point of my no buy is to not spend money. I don't care how big my collection gets, honestly. Like, I could have rooms of makeup. I don't care. I just think it's so fun. It's just the money aspect that we need to scale back. So gift cards, free, free game. And I also have a couple more. So... If there's going to be deals going on in Ulta, I'm going to use those gift cards, okay? But anyways, like I said, I got this from Ulta. I obviously ordered it online. And this is the time of year that drugstores uh, or drugstore brands are releasing new makeup. This is also the time of still a lot of sales going on, kind of picky, backing off of the holiday fun that just ended as far as sales go. And... I just think it's a good time if you have gift cards to maybe check out and see if there's something you want. Um, there's a couple of other new products out that I want to pick up. I really want to try some of the new foundations out, like the Screen Queen by Milani. Milani is popping right now as far as releases go. Um, there's just, oh, the Elf, no, Wet n Wild Hydrating foundation I really want it but I have a lot of foundations right now so I'm really trying to just work through some of those before we bring in some new ones but those are like I might snap I don't know we'll see what happens but let's just go through the makeup and I am wearing some of this I just got ready and I thought I would try out some of the makeup so I can talk about it with you guys so we'll start with what's on my lips this is Milani uh Ludacris lip gloss and this one is in 130 teen spirit so these actually came out on their website uh around november or december and i was looking at them then um but i really wanted to see when they would come out to ulta or the drugstore so they are at ulta now and the thing with milani is i on their website you have to spend like 30 35 dollars to get free shipping and i didn't want 35 dollars of milani products at that time so i waited and this is the color i don't have anything else under it it's very um glossy you know and it's such a beautiful color it's like a mauve pink color so upon first application i've only had it on for a half hour or so i really really like it again that one is in teen spirit and then this, well, okay, let me back up. With that purchase, I got, we'll just stick to Milani. So this is what I, that product and this product's what I was like really hyped about from Milani. And I am wearing it today. This is Milani. They just released a baked highlighter. And so it looks like this. Mine is in 110 Dulce Perla. And like I said, it is what I have on my face today. And it's very similar to um, the Laura Mercier Highlight 01, where being a big product, it has a little bit of subtleness to it, but it still adds that light to your face. You can see right here. So it's not going to be a super intense highlight, but it definitely has a glow that is noticeable. And this is one that you can kind of build up quite a bit. Um, so I'm really excited. To use this and I was impressed I wasn't disappointed with my first impression so that was good and then with those two Milani products um, I got a sample size it's so cute of a Milani Luminoso blush look at this little guy oh my gosh so freaking cute so I did used to own this one. Oh my gosh <laughs> um, but it had gotten old, so I went ahead and decluttered. Well, I just threw it away because it had like a Play-Doh smell to it. 
So I'm excited to have this in and it was a little, just a little incentive to go ahead and put my order in now. So those are the things from Milani that I picked up. They have so much out. Just go check out Ulta's website. Um, but there's more that I want from them, but I'm happy. I'm happy with that. More, more, more. <laughs> All right, next. Up. I talked about this briefly a couple of weeks ago. I had watched on the Today Show a beauty hack segment that they did. I uh, talked about it, I think, two makeup baskets ago. And they said to use, um, like, in a highlight kit, they talked about the ABH Sunkiss, to use the dark highlighter as a bronzer. So that's what I've been doing with the Too Faced Natural Face um, with this color here, Topic, Tropic Like It's Hot. This one, and that's what I've been wearing pretty much in all of my videos for the last couple of videos. So I wanted to see if there's like maybe a more affordable version of that. So I picked up the LA Girl Moonlight Magic Highlighter Palette. And I have not tried anything from LA Girl in a long time. I think when they first launched, like before they were in Ulta or like any store really, I had picked up like their lip paints when those were super popular. Like, I don't know, 2013. And since then the brand has expanded. It's at Ulta and... Um, from what I've heard, they're pretty good quality. So this is what the palette looks like. And it's like heavy. Like it feels solid. Um, and it has a nice mirror in it. And then these are what the highlighters look like. So um, these three I could use on a normal basis. But I'm curious to see if I could use this one as like a bronzer type situation. And what they said in that show or in that segment was since there's a light to it, it, when you move your face, the light moves with it, so it looks more like a natural uh, contour or bronzer, and I think that looks really pretty. So what I do is put on like an actual bronzer first, and then I go in and just put like a little bit of that on. Um, so these aren't like super intense, but they are feeling like nice. They don't feel like hard and dry. These aren't really swatched in order, but here they are. Can't really see it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but these are more, they're like almost like a butter feeling. They're not dry. Like the, um, like some like Wet n Wild ones, like some are just dry. You know what I mean? These feel more like buttery. Um, I'm excited. I think I can build them up on my cheeks. They also have a blush. Um, palette that's like this and Jasmine from Juicy Jazz talked about it so I think I might get that. These are only $10 so definitely a steal. With that, <laughs> this was a free gift with it, it's the LA Girl Shimmer Spray. This is facial spray for face and body and I did, I did put it on today. It has a little bit of glitter that came out with it but overall I don't think it was too bad and the sprayer on it is like super nice like that's like the ideal sprayer and it has like a perfume smell to it though it's like almost like they literally dumped perfume in here so if that that's probably not ideal so I wouldn't like pay for money for this but to have it as a free gift yes please all right and then the last makeup thing that I picked up was the e.l.f. Hydrating Chemo Concealer. Again, I'm wearing it today and I like it a lot. So I got mine in the color Light Peach. And last week I did pull out, I have like the regular e.l.f. Camo Concealers. So uh, that's what they look like. And so the light one is in Fair Beige and then this darker one is in Medium Peach. And so this hydrating one, I feel like from just the first time of using it, it's not as thick or full coverage, um, but it blended in really nicely. And I feel like it's almost not as much of a water base as these have. Uh, the color is perfect. The packaging is pretty much the same. They just put a white lid on it. So here is what they look like. And it has white writing on it as well. Um... But yeah, I liked it. I'm not disappointed. You know, it's good when you can put something on your face and be like, okay, gotta get to know you a little better, but not bad. And then finally, I'm just, 
I'm just really obsessed with makeup brushes, in particular, <laughs> Real Techniques. These go on sale super randomly, so I feel like you gotta stock up when they're on a major sale. So this is usually $20, $19.99, and it was $11.99. And this is their Everyday Essentials, so it has a blush brush, a concealer brush, a highlighting brush, and a foundation brush, and also came with a sponge. I already own these, well I actually don't think I own that concealer brush, but they're so good and I already wanted multiples of these so I might as well just get them in a kit for $11.99. And then this is a brush I don't have from them, it's their powder brush, but it was on sale for uh, $5.99 and it's typically, uh, I don't remember the actual price, maybe like around $10. Yeah, so it's a little pinched in. Uh, super fluffy and I also don't have like this new handle I have like their old school handle so we'll see how that goes and then I also love their limited edition brushes but definitely wait till they go on sale or you see them at TJ Maxx or something like that so I got their brush crush contour brush and I really like to use these for um, blush <laughs> so I'm gonna try it both ways and see how I feel about it it's a little bit smaller than I was thinking, but I still think it would be like a pretty blush brush, but I'm sure it's good for contouring as well, but like the handle is so cute. I always like to like stock up on the limited edition ones. But yeah, that's my haul. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? All right, that's the haul. Anything here? You guys have your eye on it? What are you, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Let me know. But let's move on to the products that I picked last week. Just like a little, a little recap. All right, first, what's on my eyes is the Jeffree Star Morphe palette. I really did enjoy it. This was my first time ever using it. And there is a little kickback from the powder, but it's not bad. Um, definitely a large selection of uh, colors in here. And today on my eyes, I really wanted to play with the pinks that are in here, but I didn't want to be like too pinky. So I built up some of the browns. Sorry, this mirror. <laughs> I built up some of the browns and then just touched in some of the pinks. And then I did use this pressed glitter on my lids. And then to make my eyelashes look a little bit fuller, I just stamped some of the black along my lash line. And the black is pretty black. I was impressed with it. So I do really like this palette. I was not let down at all. I think the only hard thing about it, which is just true of any large palette, is sometimes it's like trial and error to figure out like what color combinations you really like. So um, I had fun. Not all the looks I came out with I was in love with just because I was like, oh, I don't think those colors look that great together. But I did enjoy it and I think my look today is really pretty and different for me. So I like it. Definitely will keep it and pull it at a later time. And I wanted to talk about the lipstick that I wore most each week. So since my lipsticks just kind of sit out and I just grab depending on my mood, I thought I would just talk more about which one did I grab more so for the week. And so for this week, it was the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. These are so good. These are an underrated product and they just came out with the crayon version, which is also super good from what I've heard. I haven't tried it yet. This one is in 100 Philosopher. So as you can see, it's like a cool tone purple. I like this for like, I guess three reasons. One, it's a different color, but it's still a very wearable color. So it's different enough that people are intrigued by it and they want to know what it is, but it's not so far out there that it's like, girl, you, you're just going to work. Like, what are you doing? Um, also, it's a super long wearing formula that stays just a little bit wet. So um, it is going to make your lips look a little bit more dry than a lipstick, but it's not going to suck all the moisture out. And these do not budge. I can drink water with them. I can eat a meal with them. I can talk and talk and talk and talk with them and they literally are not going to budge until you use some sort of oil balm or cleansing oil to take them off of your face. Like it's not moving. Even like a cleanser, like a normal face cleanser is not going to take these off. So these just stay and stay and stay. So I love it. In particular, I love this color. So that's the lipstick that we stuck with for the week. Um, 
And then I'm doing a palette of the month, which I just talked about, which is the Too Faced Natural Face. So I've talked about that in the last two videos, so I'm not gonna dig too, too much into that today. And then I just wanted to talk about the foundations because I mixed two different ones together. I mixed Laura Mercier Flawless Lumineer, uh, the Radiance Perfecting Foundation, and then the Born This Way. So the Born This Way from Too Faced is just a little bit too dark, and this uh, Laura Mercier is just a little too light. So I did like two-thirds of this one, and then one-third of this one, and that's what I have on my face, and I think it's just a super pretty consistency. I don't like this with a brush because I find the Laura Mercier in particular is a very thin formula so it just ends up streaking everywhere whereas if you use like a sponge, a beauty sponge, um, it's going to more so just be put in place with a little more coverage to it. Um, but yeah, I really like this combo and we're going to put it back. And yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to recap. We're going to put all this back shop my stash and this is gonna be the last week of well let me know next week do you want to see my 20 my project pan in 2020 which is gonna be 20 in 2020 or do you want to see um my makeup empties of 2019 which one you, you're gonna get both but which do you want to see first that will determine how many more weeks we have a makeup baskets with their project pan items does it make sense let me know do you want makeup empties next or do you want project pan next all right, we are going to shop the stash. Okay, I want to start with primer, concealer, foundation. So I don't have anything pulled in these categories. Since the project, we're not doing a project pan, we have a little bit full range here. So for primer, I want to try this La Roche. Um, this is the Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Anti-Aging Primer with Sunscreen. I haven't tried this yet, this out yet, and it was gifted to me, and uh, actually I tried it once because I thought it was a sunscreen, and it definitely has more of like that silicone feel to it, so we're going to go ahead and try this out for the upcoming week. And then as far as foundation go, like I said, I enjoyed mixing these two, but I do want to play a little bit more with something different. And let's go with this Flower Beauty. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel. Mine is an Ivory L2. This is a really nice foundation. has a beautiful pump. What is going on with this brand? So Walmart has taken it out of a lot of their stores. And Ulta has reduced what's available on their website and in the store. So I'm just kind of curious what's going on with them. But I also think this is going to be a little too light for me. So let's go back to the Born This Way. And I can just mix like a drop of this in if I feel like the color is not where it needs to be. Alright. And then as far as um, foundations, oh, from concealers go, I want to actually pull out two. I want to pull out what we just talked about, which is the e.l.f. Hydrating. And this one, like I said, is in light peach. Really enjoy this from using it today. And then one that's newer to my collection that I also enjoy using is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. This is just a nice full coverage um, concealer. So we'll just play with both and have some options this week. But I'm liking it. And I think I did a pretty good color match on the e.l.f. if I do say so myself. <laughs> Okay, so let's just go ahead and finish off the face. So we have primer, foundation, concealer. So we need to set it. And I do want to go in with the uh, Born This Way foundation. I pull this a lot. This is the ethere Ethereal Translucent foundation. Or, sorry, powder, loose setting powder. And I just really like it. It's just so solid. So I want to pull this for the week. And... I think that's probably, oh no, oh no, number seven's not closed all the way. All right, there we go. I think we're good now. Um, yeah, I think that is everything as far as base products go. So we are using that palette. Like I said, I talked about that more last week, kind of what my palette plan is for the year. Um, but we definitely need to pick out some 
eyeshadows and guys we're gonna go a little a little different here so in this container are my smaller eyeshadows and what I wanted to pull was these these are from wet and wild and they're from limited edition collections and these were also gifted to me recently and I just think they look so pretty and I haven't tried them yet but I feel like they would be almost like super pigmented so uh do they have names one is called earth which is this one and then this one is call it called air so i want to use these and it's been a while since i pulled this next product you guys are about to be shook also i have a filming buddy this is morty he's just here sleeping living his best life mom leave me alone <laughs> Okay, so these are my e.l.f. stacks, and there's obviously a lot of them stacked together. There's like four in there, I think. But I want to pull out the matte, what's it called? Um, let me find it. Actually, I changed my mind. I was going to pull out the dark matter stack, which looks like, it's one of the smaller stacks. Looks like this, there's four colors in it. So there's this first one that is called Blur. Then there is this other one that is called uh, Unseen. Then we have this one, which is called Najima. Here's Najima. I think that's how you say it. And then we have a black one called Dark Matter. So I was thinking about pulling that, but as I flipped through the stacks and I was thinking about the Wet and Wild that we're pulling, I really think the best stack to use with that one is gonna be the rust stack um which is really pretty there's just a little bit more that comes in the rust stack so this one has this color this color which is called classic and then it has kind of like this uh mustard color called rubbish then we have this next color called antique then we have like this brown color called rust and then we have this deeper brown color, which is called Rot. So I think those colors would go better with the Wet n Wild little palettes that we're pulling. And this is a matte stack. And we'll put the rest away. Ugh. There we go. Um, okay. And then I do want to pull the new products to play with. I know we have, like, the palette. <gasps> Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. I was going to break my little palette. We're only going to use one palette for the face for the month, but I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. All right. I think that is going to be everything that we pull for the week. I think we're going to just kind of skip past these just for the week as we use the stacks and just some other products that we haven't used because, you know, the whole point of the weekly makeup basket is to use makeup that you probably are neglecting. Um, so we're good with that, and I'm trying to think, is there anything, like, wild that I'm like, ooh, let's just get crazy, and I'm not feeling crazy. Okay, I found the crazy. <laughs> Here are the Magnificent Metal eyeshadows from Stila, and I own two. I own Diamond Dust, which is this more silver one, and then I own a Kit and Carmen Karma, which is this more, um, champagne, and last time I used Kit and Karma, it was kind of dried out and not usable but i like am having problems detaching from it so let's just give it one more week or a couple more uses to see if it fully is done and see kind of where we are with this diamond dog diamond dust but i love these and i've had them for quite some time so if it's their time to go I got a lot of use out of them, but let's just kind of see how they're doing. Okay, so here is the weekly makeup basket for the week. Everything we just pulled out, uh, again, the palette of the month is the Too Faced Natural Face. We have two foundations that we're going to use together. We have two concealers that we're just going to rotate between. Um, powder to set everything. And then I do have these powders, the Hourglass Dim and the Revolution Banana Bright that I use to set everything like finishing powders. We have lots of different options this week for eyes, so that will be fun to play with. And then I'm using MAC Painterly for an eyelid primer, MAC Fix Plus for a setting spray, and then we're going to try something a little bit different for primer this week. So 
I think we're good. And then all my like uh, mascaras and eyeliners and eyebrow things and products are in here. And I talked about them in detail last week. So go check them out. But they don't change much. So I don't really talk about them very much from week to week. And then as I mentioned last week, uh, my lipsticks just kind of live uh, on the shelf. So I, if there's one that I gravitate towards for the week, I'll let you know about it next week. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are doing well. So well. Let me know what you want to see next week. Project Pan for 2020. Or do you want to see Makeup empty? You're going to get both. But which do you want first? Let me know. I hope you're all doing well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.